Hey everybody, Austin Beck again, continuing this July 2014 Sega Master System Let's Play Marathon. Uh, we've got the familiar Hang On and Safari Hunt selection screen up here again. However, this time we are not going to be playing Hang On. We're going to be switching things up and getting into some light gun action with the awesome Sega Light Phaser. And we're going to be playing some Safari Hunt, so let's go ahead and get into that. And uh, yeah... This is on the Hang On and Safari Hunt combo cartridge. Now, this was bundled with a lot of uh, Sega Master System versions in the United States. Uh, this cartridge in particular, I believe, uh, has a copyright date on the box of 1987. Looks like this game was originally released in 86, or at least it was made in 86. I'm curious to know, for you guys watching in other regions of the world, such as uh, South America and uh, Europe, where the Master System was much more popular, I'm curious to know what other variations of this game are available in terms of, you know, the physical release. Like, is it available on a card? Is it available as a solo game on cartridge? Did you guys get the Hang On and Safari Hunt bundle as well? I know here in the U.S. it was, you know, this game. I don't think you can get this game outside of the uh, Hang On bundle. I don't know though, correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't really do any research before doing this video, so... But this is how I've always personally played the game, through this combo cartridge. So, uh, yeah, this is a really simple light gun shooter, and it, there's really not much to it. Um, I did do a light gun shooter just a few weeks back with Gangster Town on the uh, Master System, which is an excellent light gun game. This one uh, isn't quite up to the same level as Gangster Town. It's it's still a decent little freebie. You can look at it that way. You know, you buy the combo cartridge for Hang On mostly, but you get Safari Hunt as well. Hang On is definitely the better game of the two. Um, unlike Gangster Town, when you shoot in this game, there is no indication that you've actually shot. For instance, well, I mean, there is indication. There's the screen flashes like with every Master System like in game. But there's no shot trigger on the screen, no bullet hole or anything like that. So aiming in this game is a little wonky. You'll be pointing the light gun right at your target and it'll miss for some reason. Even though if this was Gangster Town or Rescue Mission or something like that, or Marksman shooting and trap shooting, you would have hit the target, you know, square on. So I don't know if that's a programming issue. Well, I'm going to actually chalk it up to probably being a programming issue because the other Lycon games I have don't have that problem. So, but yeah, uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the game. And uh, it's pretty much a very, very basic Lycon shooter, sort of in the vein of like Duck Hunt on the NES. However, there's a little more to it than Duck Hunt, uh, whereas in Duck Hunt, you only shot two or three ducks at a time and they would just get progressively faster and faster and faster. Which was nothing wrong with that. It was it was a pretty fun game for the NES. Um, this actually has more enemies and patterns and so forth. As you can see, you've got these ducks, you've got these fish coming out of the water, you've got rabbits that go along the bottom of the screen, and uh, you go through a, a series of three stages, and then the game loops. It goes back through the same set of stages again, albeit a little more difficult the next time through. And it just, I don't know if this game actually ends. I've never really tried to beat this game. I mean, it's a fun game, but I get bored of it when I play. Uh, so I really have no idea how many stages there are in this game, if it ever ends or if it just keeps looping and looping and looping. Um, if you grew up with the Master System and you had this game and you played this game a lot, let me know if it does indeed end. I mean, I'm sure I could read the manual, because I actually have the manual for this one. <laughs> which I might do that after this video. But, uh, yeah, let me know if it ends, or if it doesn't end, let me know how far you've gotten in this game. That's always, uh, cool information to know as well. So, but yeah, we're on, uh, map two, and the enemies... I don't want to say they get tougher, because the enemies, they don't attack in this game, unlike Gangster Town. There's no threat to the enemies. The only threat is you missing, or you just not firing at all, which is pretty much guarantees the game over. And I did test that. Uh, the levels do end on their own, so you do have a limited amount of time. So you can't just sit there and just, you know, pick off the enemies you want. You sort of just have to keep shooting everything that, that flies by, otherwise time's going to run out, you're not going to have enough points to move on to the next stage. And that actually uh, leads me into something I did want to talk about in this game, is how the game works is, yeah, you shoot stuff, you get points, um, but you have to qualify um, with a certain threshold of points in order to move on to the next stage. So in this case, it was 30,000 to progress, and I had 39,200 points. 
Now, um, you actually, your score just constantly carries over. And uh, I think, I want to say the qualify levels are pretty much canned. I, I want to say they're set every time you play the game. So, uh, the better you do in the game, the easier it is to progress on to later stages in the game. Like right now, I'm doing pretty well. I mean, <laughs> I almost uh, passed the qualification almost immediately upon starting this stage. And now I'm a good 13,000 points higher than the qualification. So we'll see. Yeah, I've already qualified for the next stage after this one um, because of how many points I have. I have 54,000 and the qualification on this level is 52. So technically, if I really wanted to, I can go for a coffee break. Actually, I could. Let me see if this works. Oh, look at that. The pause function does work. Okay. <laughs> I had to reach over to do that. I just paused the game. I just, for some reason, wanted to try that. Now I can go for a coffee break, having paused the game. <laughs> All right, there we go. Back in action. That's definitely one of the things I, I have never cared for on the Master System. And, you know, I'm sure most people feel the same way. But having to get up and press pause on the button, uh, sorry, on the system itself, uh, always kind of annoying. I always get scared, actually, when I go to push it, because I haven't had the Master System hooked up in a long time, and I'm like, is that the reset, or is that the pause button? Because I don't, I don't want to get up and press reset by accident when I meant to pause the game. Uh, <laughs> you you kind of get used to it. And, uh, oh, stupid panther. The panthers uh, are worth 2,000 points apiece, and sometimes when you kill... Uh, enemies, and it really depends on the enemy, it'll actually display how many points are worth. Like, there you go, Panther is 2,000 points. So you know to go for those big enemies first. Uh, I'm not sure if I recommend going for the big bears, really, on the other stages. I'm not sure how many points they're worth. I'm going to have to take a look at it once we get back to the forest segment. Um, but the bears take five shots, and if you look in the bottom of the screen, you actually have a finite amount of bullets. You can't just... You know, just keep wailing away on anything you want. You do have to be a little conservative, conservative, and um, be selective about what you shoot, because you know I'm already I've already used up half my bullets right now. So, but that fish was worth a thousand points. It's another thousand. Uh, you got these little bunnies that pop up from behind the grass, and what you want to do is you want to actually let them pop up first, otherwise. Uh, you won't be able to shoot them and you won't get those points. The bunnies are a thousand points apiece and as you can see I shot two back to back and so that was a quick 2,000 points. It looks like the qualification for the next round only goes up between seven and ten thousand points. So you know as long as you keep playing well you keep getting those 1,000 point enemies then you are, you are good. So let's see what the bears worth. One, two, three, four, five. Okay the bears worth 2,000 points so Technically, the bear would be worth it if you really need those points. See, I don't know. Well, I guess the bear is worth it when you think about it, because all these other guys are just worth small points. So, hitting the bear five times is probably actually still more points than hitting five other regular enemies in that segment. So, I guess the bears are actually where the points really are on that stage. Or the round, as the game calls it. Next round. You see, like, I'm hitting the enemies, but the game is not registering it. It's, uh, the enemies are really large, too, so they're, they're, like, really big targets. Like, I keep missing by accident, and, uh, I, I don't think it's my fault. So, you know, if this was Gangster Town, I would just totally be wrecking all the enemies on screen. I probably wouldn't miss if it was Gangster Town, because the light phaser feels so accurate with that game. And, um, so that's what makes me think that it might be a programming issue in this game. Especially considering how big the enemies are. Like, there's no reason to miss one of those flying ducks, but you do. Like, ah, oh, I should have hit that top flying duck. My, my gun was right on it. Like, I could put my gun right up to the screen, which I'm doing right now. I'm reaching all the way across the room, which is hard on me. And, I don't know, it's working that way, but... Eh. Play it all like NES style. This is how we would play light gun games uh, back in the day on the NES. We would just literally put the <laughs> put the gun right up to the uh, the glass and fire away. I don't know why we had fun doing that, but we did. Um, I don't ever play like that anymore when I play light gun shooters. I always play legitimately. 
because I'm a much better player now than I was when I was five or seven years old. So, um, having played uh, and lived in arcades for a while, especially, I, I always loved Lycan games and arcades. And so I definitely played a lot of them. It looks like the armadillo looking guys are a thousand a piece. So you definitely want to go for those. Geez, look at this. I'm doing so well. I'm 15,000 points higher uh, than the qualification. But actually, it looks like... Okay. Man, those panthers, they stop behind that tree. And you, it looks like you can still hit them. And I go for them, but... The bullets don't register. Like <laughs> two thirds of their body or three quarters of their body are still visible, but you can't shoot them. It doesn't really make any sense. So the game could definitely get a little frustrating in that regard. It's, it's, uh, I'm, uh, I can't even talk. This music is uh, <laughs> not exactly the most catchy music on in the world. Um, and as you could tell, there's no music during actual gameplay, which is kind of a shame. I would have liked some uh, some music because basically all it is it's just bam 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 bam, and then do 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 do, and it just does that over and over, and that's pretty much the whole game, Safari Hunt. <laughs> uh, actually, I want to say we're gonna find out very soon, probably in the next video or two. Because this is actually the start of several like on videos I'm going to be doing. I'm going to do them back to back this time. Uh, I'm going to be doing rescue mission and uh, marksman shooting and trap shooting. And I want to say in one of those games it uses the same jingle that's in Safari Hunt. I don't know. But uh, we're going to find out in that uh, those upcoming videos. Got him. <clears throat> Alright, so they're definitely bridging the gap between my score and what's required to qualify. So it looks like I might end up getting a game over here shortly. It's catching up with me. I mean, I'm definitely shooting all the enemies. And you really have to go for those big value enemies as well, like the Panthers. There should be another Panther coming up in just a moment. There he is. Missed. I don't know how the hell I missed. It was right on him. And I don't know how I'm missing that bat and the spiders and and whatever got him i'm gonna actually wait and see if another panther comes out yep oh what he stopped that asshole <laughs> but basically i shot him dead on when only like his ass was hidden behind a tree and it didn't register a hit on him it's like he was wide out in the open only his butt was hidden by the tree <laughs> i can't i can't, i don't get any points for that the game's definitely weird like that, um, and I don't really think it probably should be weird like that, but it is, and that's just one of its many quirks. I've actually got my gun a little bit closer to the TV now. I've actually got my arm extended completely. Normally, I, I kind of play with the gun up close, you know, kind of like you see guys in movies, they put one arm back and the gun like near their head and that's usually kind of how I play like on shooters I'm farther away from the TV it kind of requires better accuracy in order to play um, but in this case the guns probably about a foot away from the television now versus three or four feet away because my arm is completely extended now So it looks like the bears, you can pretty much just pummel them right away. You don't have to wait for them to stand up or move around. I'm waiting for some more armadillos because they're a thousand a pop. Oh, I think that's it. That's it. What? Armadillo, another one. All right, got it. Alright, so we're at the 15 minute mark. You know what I'm thinking about doing is just going to level 20 and uh, just wrapping up the video there because if I keep this up, we're going to be here all day. And uh, my goal is definitely not to set a Guinness World Record on Safari Hunt. I really have no desire to do that. 
Um, I would like to actually get to the next video of a better light gun shooter. Or actually, the next video is probably not going to be the better one. It's probably going to be worse than this one. Uh, marksman and marksman shooting and trap shooting. It's actually a, a neat concept, but it, it's just it's so repetitive. It doesn't even have different screens. At least the marksman shooting one. Uh, it's basically like you're in a police station just shooting targets over and over, and that's it. And um, and then it's got trap shooting on it, which is basically like the clay shooting on the NES Duck Hunt. So, and I don't I don't really think it's even much more exciting than NES clay shooting was, because that wasn't a very exciting game either. But uh, yeah. Do, 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 do. All right, so we <laughs> we only need five thousand more points. Yeah, I, I'm de I've definitely caught up by not missing my enemies. That's for sure. And just hitting the big value enemies, like I just met the qualification. Oh, right now, there we go. I met the qualification already in in like seven shots. So <laughs> just skipping the, uh, the small enemies and just going for the armadillos because they are a thousand. That's a thousand. Why should I waste my bullets on those uh, birds when they're only 200 a pop? That's a thousand for one bullet. Let's wait for some more guys. It's another thousand. Look at that. 9,000 points higher than the qualification. So. Alright, we're on level 20. We're going to make this the last level since it's the last of the uh, group. You know, you go through the same three stages over and over. It gets slightly more difficult and I just wasted three bullets on that panther because he's a dick. Apparently, it's really tough to hit him when he's actually in the air. And you would think 20 levels in, the panther would not run in the front. you think think actually they would make it even smaller and make him run all the way in the back of the woods. <laughs> he's like three pixels wide. It's like, try to hit this. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just set the gun down. And let's go ahead and get a game over here. I've got the gun out of my hands. No more shooting. It looks like if you pull the trigger when it's not pointing at the screen, it just flashes. So, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got, like I said, several more light gun shooters on the way for the rest of this month. Uh, actually, in the next couple of days. Uh, but I also have about four, five, maybe six more uh, Let's Plays of standard standard cartridges to do. Um, more action stuff once again. Uh, so we'll go ahead and try to end this marathon on a high note. And um, But definitely stay tuned in the next couple of days for uh, Marksman Shooting and Trap Shooting, as well as followed up by Rescue Mission, which is actually a pretty solid light gun shooter. Aw, oh, game is over. So... Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in a couple more days. And until then, take care.